This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to virtual worship with Live Oak AME Church of Van, South Carolina. My name is Pastor Frederick Wilson, and I will serve as your virtual worship leader today. Let us pray together. Almighty and gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you for this virtual worship platform. We thank you, oh God, for life, health, and strength. Lord, forgive us for all of our sins, which are so many. Create within us a clean heart. Renew within us a right spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, Come abide with us. Allow your Holy Spirit to dwell among us. Touch us. Bless us. Strengthen us. Guide us. Transform us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We invite you to open your Bible or your mobile device and go to 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2. Hear the reading of God's word. Elisha replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me what? do you have in your house? This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our sermon topic for today is more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. I know I'm not alone in saying when I suffer, I seek answers. I seek solutions. I seek God's help in my dilemma. Maybe it's our longing to regain the appearance of control over circumstances that remind us of how utterly powerless we are in certain circumstances. Or maybe it's just our longing to believe that everything happens for a reason. So every detail of our lives should fit together like the pieces of a puzzle disclosing significance we can see from our human perspective. For those of us who trust in the sovereignty and will of Almighty God, the compelling need to understand why certain events occur is no less stringent. Even as we cling to the promises of divine truth, we analyze the natural world for answers that require supernatural responses. As a father and son, I cannot imagine how the woman in our text only referred to as, and I quote, the wife of a man from the company of the prophets must have felt. It was one thing to mourn the loss of her husband, but now the creditors, the debt collectors, are coming to take her two sons as slaves for a debt left by her deceased husband. She found herself between a rock and a hard place. Her back was literally against the wall. She was facing difficult choices. She found herself in the quicksand of life. It was a hard moment. It was a painful moment in her life. Can you attest to experiencing painful situations in your life? I can attest to difficult times. All of us in the midst of this pandemic can attest 
to facing difficult choices in difficult situations. I have good news for you today. There is hope for you in the midst of your hard place. So she goes to the prophet Elisha and he graciously receives her complaint asking, how can I help you? Before the sister could respond to the first question, Elisha immediately followed with another question. Tell me, what do you have in your house? Tell me, what do you have in your house? In essence, the prophet was asking, do you have anything in the house of value you can use to pay your debts? She responds, your servant has nothing, nothing. Your servant has nothing here at all. Can you imagine, can you picture this broken woman? Can you experience, can you feel her pain in her response? But, and if you're at home sitting on the couch with your friend, the loved one, turn to your neighbor or your cat and tell them, but, yes, thank God for the but. But she rebounded quickly when she said, I do have a small jar of olive oil. Oh, yes. Well, that is all you need, said the prophet. That was all she needed for God to change her circumstance. That was all she needed to change her situation. After all, little becomes much when it's placed in the master's hands. Oh yes, I don't care how bad your situation looks. If you place your problems in God's hands, God has a way of turning your situation around. God has a way of turning bad into good. God has a way of turning weakness into strength. God has a way of picking you up and turning you around and placing your feet on solid ground. God has a way of turning it around. All you have to do is place all of your broken pieces in the big hands of God and watch God pull your broken pieces together and carve out and build a beautiful masterpiece out of your life. You have more than enough in your house. Your house may be broken. Your house may be lacking uh, the necessities of life. You may feel as though you're living in a big black void or a dark hole in your life, but I'm here to let you know regardless of how broken or busted you may think you are, everything you need is right here. As long as you have God, you have everything you need to make a rebound. You have more than enough with God on your side. Sisters and brothers, we cannot minimize the blessings of our God. It has been said one person's trash is another person's treasure. All we need is a mustard seed size of faith to remove a mountain. Oh, yes, all you need is just a little faith. And God can come in and do much. Yes, even with a little faith, it's more than enough to help you to overcome. Yes, the sister did not know that the small jar of oil, the sister did not know that the small jar of oil and her faith in God was more than enough. That's all you need. All you need is faith in God and a little obedience. There are times when God calls us to exercise our faith and do what is seemingly impossible. 
The sister had to do the work. Ah, yes, you've got to do the work. You've got to do the work, 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 work. Yes, the sister had to do the work, collect the jars, shut the door and pour the oil. Make no mistake, the blessing was not in the oil. The blessing was in her obedience and faith in the one who created the olives to obtain the oil. Because of her obedience and faith, because of her obedience and faith, obedience and faith, obedience and faith. Yes, the two go hand in hand because of her obedience and faith. She was able to leave an inheritance to her children. We can never exhaust the goodness of our God. It is our faith uh, that may fail, but our God's promises will never fail. God's promises are sure. That's why the hymn writer declared, standing on the promises of God. We can stand on the promises of God because God's promises are sure. God's promises are, are great. God's promises will come true. Whatever God promises, it will manifest into the natural. God help us to know and trust you that we have everything we need God, help us to know and trust you that we already have more than enough to get out of debt, build wealth, and leave an inheritance to our children and our children's children. God, help us to know and trust you that we already have more than enough to overcome our obstacles and walk in greatness. God, help us to know and trust you that we already have more than enough to see our way through. God, help us to know that we already have more than enough to press forward, to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in God, in Christ Jesus. God, help us to know and trust you that we already have more than enough to see our way over, to see our way under, to see our way around, and to find ourselves marching into the promised land. To God be the glory. We have more than enough. We have more than enough. Trust God in his son, Jesus Christ. Embrace God's grace of love, hope, and forgiveness. And God will give us what we need. We have more than enough. All we need to do is trust and obey. Trust and obey. And God will take our broken pieces and build our lives better and stronger. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. If there is someone here today who desires to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I invite you to pray this prayer with me. Almighty God, thank you for Jesus. I believe that Jesus died and rose again for me. Come into my heart. Live within me. I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate my life to following in your footsteps. Save me, Lord Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your joy and love. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I invite you to go to our website, liveoakame.org, and click on the connect link and complete the connection form. And someone from our ministry team will reach out to you, give you information about following Jesus, 
and our local church, Live Oak AME Church. If you desire to join, you can also complete the same form. And we would love to embrace you as one of our own. If you desire prayer today, I would love to pray with you. I would love to lift you up in prayer at this moment as we engage in intercessory prayer. I want you to remember that there's more than enough. Let us pray together. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness and for reminding us that we are blessed to be a blessing. Your word tells us that I has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into our heart all you have prepared for us. Open our eyes to see you at work and join you in doing our part. Bless every prayer request. Bless every need across this virtual space. Release your power and your anointing. Oh God, break every yoke, break every chain. Heal those who are sick. Deliver those who are feeble. Mend those who are broken. Uplift those who have fallen. Lord, send your anointing, we pray. Pour out your glory into every household hearing this message. Oh God, send a revival across this nation. Send a moral revival, a revival of justice, a revival of hope, a revival of repentance, a revival of restoration. Lord, use us to be your hands and your feet to transform our world for the better. God bless our children as they return to school. Bless the school workers and policy makers. Lord, lead and guide our government officials on every level. Lord, we ask for justice to flow like a mighty river and for righteousness to flow throughout the land. We pray, oh God, for a social and moral revival across this land. We pray, oh God, for your love and your grace to be experienced and for it to transform lives like never before. Revive us again. Holy Spirit, bless us and strengthen us. Allow your signs, miracles, and wonders to follow us as we follow Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. We invite you to sow into the work of Live Oak AME Church. We invite you to go to our website, liveoakame.org, and click on the donate button to bless our ministry as it has been a blessing to you. You can mail your check payable to Live Oak AME Church, P.O. Box 96, Vance, South Carolina 29163. You can also give through Givelify. Download the Givelify app, search for Live Oak AME Church, and give as the Lord has blessed you. Thank you for your offering. Thank you for your support. And now let us receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us all today and forever. And the people of God shall say, Amen.